seven-year-old Grace Kaburo and her playmates carry the scars of their battles with disease. They are among hundreds of thousands forced to flee violence in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo to camps near the city of Goma. But now, having found sanctuary, they've come up against a different threat. A new variant of Mpox, a viral infection transmitted through close contact, is spreading, with children appearing to bear the brunt of infections. Grace's mother, Denise Kahindo, says her daughter has now recovered. I don't know how or by whom my child had been contaminated. I just watched helplessly as the symptoms appeared on her body. Mpox is usually mild, but it can kill. It causes flu-like symptoms and pus-filled lesions on the body. There have been 35 confirmed cases in Goma since July 10th, mainly among adults living in the displacement camps. But at a nearby facility in a former Ebola treatment centre, Dr. Pierre-Olivier Ungajole, a medical advisor for charity Medair, said they've seen 130 suspected Mpox cases. And of these, 50% are even less than five years old. Up to the age of 18, that's 95% of the cases. So you can see that the over-18s are just 5%. The cases are an escalation of an Mpox outbreak in Congo that has already infected around 27,000 people and killed more than 1,100 since the start of 2023. In fact, Congo is facing two outbreaks simultaneously. One is an endemic form of the virus, the other a variant of it. The variant appears to be more capable of transmitting between people than previous strains. Doctors at the treatment centre say they do not know which Mpox strain is behind all the cases in the camps. They have only sequenced a handful of cases and found the variant version. They also say they've discharged 82 patients and not seen any deaths yet. The endemic virus has a 4 to 11 percent fatality rate. The risk posed to children by the variant is unclear. Rosamund Lewis, head of MPOX at the World Health Organization, said they hope cases can at least be detected quickly and appropriate clinical care given. At the moment, they are few in number. Um, but we wouldn't be surprised if that number grows and uh, children can also affect each other because of their close contact playing together or, or sharing the same living quarters. Another Mpox variant prompted an international emergency when it spread globally in 2022, mainly through sexual contact among men who have sex with men. Public health officials in the United States and Europe launched campaigns to promote safe sex practices and vaccinated at-risk populations. But tackling Mpox in Congo is more difficult. There are no vaccines or specific treatments available here, outside of clinical trials. Barriers to medical tools include stigma, regulatory hurdles and a lack of money, as well as cholera and measles outbreaks in the displacement camps. Last month, Congo approved the use of two Mpox vaccines. However, funding remains a significant challenge, and only a few countries have offered to donate shots.